Hey guys, Kingpin Light here. Got Banda Demon, the official music video. Now I'm gonna try to leave it on blurred for once. And uh I just had bad experience in the past without if I didn't blur the video, it would like get uh blocked. But there's a chance that uh who whoever owns this music will let me do it, so I'm gonna try and leave it on blurred. Now I was told that this is the first song in the skull album so for moving forward i'm gonna do the whole skull album one song in a row um top to bottom and then after that i'll get on to some of the other songs uh and i am gonna have different artists by the way kind of queued up so just stay tuned i'm gonna get to the whole album eventually uh one more thing make sure to check the uh, discord out it'll be in the description below and you guys can let me know kind of more personal details about uh that you guys know about Cambodia and everything. I started looking into it. And uh of course with coronavirus there's not even a chance of me being able to leave the country. But it look there's a lot of like beautiful places from what I've saw. Um it'd be a cool spot to actually go and visit. Whenever I get kind of my new situation when I move in, uh you know, I'm moving in a couple months. Once I get that done and then my girlfriend actually finishes college and comes to live with me. Uh, I got a couple of trips planned, so, I mean, I was looking into going into Japan. I've been to the Caribbean islands, but I kind of want to check out some more of the tourist spots. And, uh, honestly, Cambodia looked kind of cool, so I may look more into it. But I, I want to get a little bit more situated with uh, the language before I really went to any place. Um, now, I did see... I can't find online how you're supposed to pronounce it. I saw both pronunciations, but... Uh, you guys let me know if either one of these is right or if it's a third way of pronouncing it. Now, I saw it being pronounced as Khmer, and I saw it pronounced as Khmer. So, I don't know which one is right. They both looked official, like Google uh, Translator pronunciation or whatever says it's Khmer, but then people in the comments of some video were saying that it's Khmer or Khmer. So, you guys let me know how to pronounce that. But uh, anyway, let's get right into it. We got Van the Demon. Oh, hold on. Budweiser. Wasn't the last music video that I reacted to had the to Honda or Toyota or something? So he just gets like all these sponsors or is that like a tongue-in-cheek thing? I got Damn. demon. That car's messed. On my mind. I got monster. On my mind. On my mind. I got murder. Damn. On my mind. He gone whisper. All the time. That was a nice melody. Damn. This shit sounds. Low key, this sounds like a movie. Like it legit sounds like a movie. Give me one sec. Alright, I'm back. Had to go get something. Let me back up just a little bit, actually. So this is going to be like a movie. I mean, I, I was saying it sounds like a movie, the sound of it, how it was rising up. But um, it also looks like a legit movie because it's got some girl in the forest looking artistic. And then we got like this broken car. And the girl looked like she was going like he got hurt right there. And then the girl looked like she was uh, still trying to put her makeup on. All it was all messed up. What does that remind me of? This sounds nice, but it... <laughs> hey, hold up, hold up. Got the little Uzi diamond on her uh, forehead. <laughs> so is she the demon? Yo, he's the devil in this. He said he got murder on his mind, like YN YNW Melly. I got murder on my mind. I don't know how it goes. Let's back up a little bit. I got monster, monster on my mind, on my mind. I got murder, murder on my mind, on my mind. He gon' whisper all the 
Did a headbanger right there. Yo, he got the skull uh, necklace chain. So hold up, is she the one who's got, yeah, she's the one that's got him tied up. And I wonder if it means that someone in his life was a demon or if he's just using that as a metaphor for like personifying evil, basically, or, or these bad influences in his life. He just got a good flow like in all the songs. I like the visuals in this though a lot. So I'm going to try and break down the lyrics as I go. Um, you know, one bad thing that I have found is I it's been kind of hard to find a breakdown of all the lyrics in English. Now, it's got the lyrics here, which is good, but I can't, I don't have them in like a list form. So if you guys know where I can find that, that would be, that would make it a lot easier to be able to see the whole picture. Um, but breaking down the lyrics as I go, so it sounds like he, you know, he's talking about having demons in his mind, the bad influences, uh, whether it's partying. Or just, you know what I mean, being savage, that type of thing. I kind of like that. I like that line right there. Hold on. There's an answer in the heart and a question in the brain. Sometimes you got to follow your heart, I think is what he's saying. Where like, you know, sometimes you can't go logically. To figure out an answer that you know sometimes you just gotta go with your with your gut your heart uh do what you what feels good yeah. Ooh. This is basically like let bygones be bygones, but sometimes you, you know a man can only take so much before you gotta you gotta fight back. Oh, my mind. That shit sounds nice. Hold on. He's just bringing in that melody, though. That right there is a cool shot, wouldn't it? Like, if you crop that and make that your profile picture, like you doing that, that shit would look nice. He gon' whisper all the time. Damn, he drinking a 40, bro. He got Old English. What's what's the uh, Cambodian version of Old English? I like it with that, that background music. Damn. Yeah, I, f I feel this message though, because I mean, like me, I haven't been the most positive person my my whole life. You know, what I mean, I went through a phase where partying, you know, doing all that stupid shit, and uh, I'm, I'm way more positive now. Trying to have a positive outlook on life and just, you know, be more open minded and everything. But, you know, sometimes something makes you mad. It's hard to, like, keep that in mind where you just you react instead of overcoming your demons, so to speak. Like, he's, which is what I think he's trying to say, right? It's, he tries to keep his cool, but sometimes, hey, it gets the better of him. 
Get that Ferrari. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna back up to that. But what's the uh, symbolism with the car, though? Is that like symbolizing his demons too, and he's like beating the hell out of it, or is it just saying maybe the demons got control of him f for that moment, and he took it out on that car? I'm down, but not on my knees, buddy. This is how nice. And that, that background music is just amazing. I love that. Gives it a super dramatic feeling. Like, uh... It's similar, to, and it might actually fit into it, but it, it's very similar to Gregorian chants, which sometimes it's different type of music uses that uh, in the background to the beginning of a song, or in like orchestras, they use or a Gregorian chants. So that's really what that sounds like to me, is Gregorian chant. But I'm sure that it's def it's probably a different style in Cambodia, like it's got different influences, but it's that same sort of uh, uh, music. Of sound. I don't know if Kirk Owen Chance are like songs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that uh, very last ending right there? Oh. The very last ending right there. Tiger Sugar. What is that? Is that like uh, similar to Budweiser? Like a, a local beer or something? But, uh, yeah, man, that was pretty dope. And like I said, I'm going to just continue down the line from the album and uh see how it is and at the end of it i might actually do similar to what i'm writing right now for olivia uh album is a ranking of sorts like my personal ranking of all the songs in the album like best to or worst to best not worst like they're bad but like in the context of the album but uh yeah that that was my reaction to uh van the demon let me let me know what you guys thought about it. Uh, like and subscribe and everything if you if you liked it. And uh, yeah, make sure to check out that Discord, guys. It's going to be popping once we get some people in there. But it's in the next one.